Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I am working with some pictures from our spring break trip to Destin. I have all of these little hexagon shapes that I cut out of my 6x6 pad um, from Echo Park, the best summer ever. Um, I do not have many pages left in this. I'm happy to say that I've almost killed that 6x6 pad, um, but I think these colors work perfectly for beachy, you know, summer kind of vibes. It was spring break, but you know, it's it was uh, nice and warm. Started to feel um, a little summery. And I put my three pictures there down at the bottom and I knew I wanted this kind of hexagon pattern uh, going through the top. Now, as I'm doing this, you know, I like it, the colors are pretty, all that stuff, but I know they're gonna need a little bit more. So I take a few of the hexagons and I um, am going to put Stickles Glitter Gel on um, the pink ones that have the little um, ice cream cones, just to give them a little more sparkle, a little texture, make them look a little different. And then on um, two of the other hexagons, I decide they need to be all sequined out. So I first take my um, Bow Bunny glitter paste. It is like a pink and copper kind of glitter paste and I put it over top of the whole thing and I try to make it kind of thick because I want the background of my sequins to just be kind of this pink glittery color. I don't want you to be able to see the um, pattern. So the white with the sunglasses was just not a pattern I was feeling. So I put the glitter gel over there and I thought I was just gonna stick the sequins right on the glitter gel, um, but it was not tacky enough for that. So there's a lot of dry time in this and I had to wait and then I eventually come back and put glue over top and stick all my sequins down. You can see they're drying up there at the top. Um, now I have my paper that I'm going to use for matte mats, photo mats. I think this is kind of like a sandy color, again, which just kind of goes with the whole beachy theme of my um, layout. And it's a nice subtle color. It frames the photo as well, but it's not super dark like a black would be. And, um, or even, you know, a brown or a white I thought would be too light. So. This nice sandy color works out perfectly. And I realized that my photos are different sizes. I seriously thought I cut them all down to the same size. Um, but as I'm doing the mats, I realize, um, oops, they're not. And one is smaller than the other two. Uh, but you know what? I just kind of nestle them all together and don't put them in a straight line. And you really can't tell that much. And, you know, it just works out. Um, so I put them down, I start to redo my little um, hexagon design. Now they certainly do not end up in the exact same place that they were in, uh, but that's, that's okay. Whenever I make things like this, they never turn out the same way twice. But I'm always happy with how they turn out. And I really, really, really love my um, complete sequined bits. Now right now I only have two. Um, but I do add a third one after I realize that um, the layout really needs a third one. Um, so putting all of these down, I um, am wondering, okay, you know, how is all this going to work? How am I going to stick it all down um, without completely disrupting um, everything I'm doing? And I decide that my Tompo tape runner is the best choice. My little Herma mounting squares, I love them, but they have a tendency to like, you know, pop off and they're just not as sticky right off the bat. So that is why I'm using the Tombow tape runner for all of the hexagons except my sequined hexagons. And I'm gonna be honest with you, they are a little bit wet still. I left them to dry for like an hour um, and you know, that was just all, all the time that I could wait uh, to continue this layout. So they're a little bit wet. I would advise that, you know, you let them actually dry, but you know, it's okay. It all works out, I think. <laughs> uh, 
So as I'm gluing these down, I must say, I just love how all of these colors are coming together. They did come all from the same paper pad, um, a 6x6 six six that I got about a year ago from Echo Park's warehouse sale. It's the best summer ever, and I love using these little 6x6 six six pads or 6x8 six pads because I get all of the pattern without having to cut into um, big 12x12 12 12 papers. Um, so I think they're absolutely perfect. I know a lot of people have trouble using up their 6x6 and 6x8 pads, but I mean, I, I think I've gone through, gosh, I don't even know how many in the past year um, because I really like to use them for little projects like these. They make great accents. Um, sometimes they come across papers that I don't really care for. They make good photo mats or you know journaling boxes. There are all kinds of um, uses for them. And this is one of my favorite kinds is to put them all together and, uh, you know, do hexagons or la matte layers or any kind of thing like that. So, as I said, the sequined hexagons do not get the Tombow adhesive, but they get the double-sided tape. I think double-sided tape is probably the strongest adhesive that I use, at least in terms of, like, immediately strong. Now, obviously, um, I think liquid glue probably holds things the best um, over time, but it obviously needs dry time, so it's not immediately the strongest, but you know what, to each their own, so I know there are a million different um, types of adhesives that everyone prefers. So a few of my sequins, though, did fall off. When you just dump a ton of sequins on a pile of glue, um, it tends to happen. Mm -hmm. So I do add a few um, little drops of glue with my little fine point glue bottle and uh, just kind of pop the sequins back on there. And you can see over there on the left, it's just a little bit bare. There's like one open um, space for a hexagon. And that's where I want to uh, put my third sequined hexagon, but it is still drying. Um, so I decide to use this time to journal a little bit. And this is just a picture of us, you know, on the balcony. You can see all the palm trees behind us. And it was one of our favorite spots on this trip. Um... I think, you know, I spent many an hour out on the balcony just enjoying and relaxing and, you know, looking at the palm trees, getting a glimpse of the ocean, and it was really nice. So that's what I am journaling about there. You can see I added this, it almost looks like washi tape or a ribbon or something. It says, just another day in paradise. Um, that was actually from one of the papers in the 6x6 six six pad um, that I ended up cutting up into um, the hexagons, but I really liked the color and the little pineapples, and uh, so I cut that off before I made it into hexagons. And just another day in paradise I think fits perfectly uh, down there. So now I've got my thickers out. I want the title to be Balcony Vibes, um, but I didn't know exactly which set I wanted to use. I do ultimately decide on the kind of, um, you know, it, it almost reminds me of like a mermaid um, kind of uh, letters. And it's got, puff, it, they're puffy thickers and then the foam is actually pink. I believe the title of these is Coastline and I just got them at Walmart. Um, so I really uh, like how these turn out. They are a little bit bigger, like if they could be, you know, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit smaller they would fit very very nicely but as they are I had to rearrange them um, a little bit to make them fit right and you know I probably could have done a slightly better job but that's okay I got the words on there they're what I wanted them to say you know I had enough letters so it all worked out it's okay not everything has to be perfect um and you know what I used that I thought it was so funny I used my thickers ruler as um a place to stick all my letters and I didn't think to get it out until after they were already on there so very silly and I take one of the little asterisks that comes with it I thought it kind of looked like a little star I just put it down in the bottom corner to kind of bring that same uh, shape and texture into uh, the last bit so I add my little um, palm tree there up at the top and I glue down well 
I adhere my uh, last little sequined hexagon there with my double-sided tape. I found it much easier to put it on the paper rather than the um, little hexagon. Again, the hexagon was kind of wet, um, but it seems to be working out just fine and staying just fine. Uh, but as I put that down there, that will complete my layout. And um, there it is. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.